a few guys. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to do more of these lately. So sorry if I'm bombarding you. It's uh, about one in the morning again, but you know, I would be finishing these earlier, but occasionally I actually do things during the day. Sometimes. Uh, so this one is on The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro. I'm guessing I pronounced that right. This is the second book in the Charlotte Holmes series. Um, and the first book, A Study in Charlotte, one of my online book clubs, was doing this month, but I'd already read that one, so I decided, I'm not a huge rereader, so I decided I would read the second book, which I hadn't gotten around to yet. And I gave this four stars. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. I agree with pretty much everybody that it wasn't quite as good as the first one. Um, there's probably going to be spoilers, but the ending made me... Like, the whole book was good, and then the ending, it was just kind of like, really? Like, it wasn't bad, and I don't have a definite problem with it, but it was just, really? I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I didn't really like the ending. Um, this whole series, I love the covers. They're really cool. I, um, I'm gonna, I don't really not finish series is. I'm kind of obsessive that way, so I'm definitely going to be reading the third one, but overall the whole story was really good. I was reading some of the reviews, and some people are kind of like, what was the actual mystery we were figuring out? Because, so this part will definitely have spoilers, because it seems like the mystery is what happened to her uncle um, is he alive? Who, I mean, we think the Moriarty's poisoned her mom, but who really did and all of this. But then we get pulled into her uncle's case, which is about the art forgeries. And then, yeah, we find out the answers to both of those, but it doesn't really feel like either of those mysteries concluded. So, I don't know, like I said, I gave this one four stars. It was good. It wasn't as good as the first one. Everybody says the third one's better. A lot of people say the third one's the best so far. So I look forward to reading that. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy this one. I wouldn't say skip it, but just be prepared with what you're going in for. That's pretty much all I can think of. But if you have any questions, comments, or opinions, put them down in the comments. I'd love to discuss this book with you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.